Hello and greetings everyone, we are continuing on with Undertale. This is part 41 of my blind let's play. Um, in the last video there, we continued on with, uh, we ended up being the game, I think, and then Flowey told us to go talk to Undying at her house to get a better ending. So here we are and we're going to continue on. Um, in the last video we were talking to her, now we're, we're sitting down at the table, I'm going to continue this here, and right here she says, all set, would you, what, what would you like? Um, oh my goodness. Did she just throw the spear? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Dot, dot, dot. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Aim with the arrows and select Z. See? Sugar goes in green tea, select Z. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder. T box, blatantly correct T box. Blatantly correct choice. Sword acquires taste. Fridge full of Z's. Full of food, Z. Undying with Z. Should we choose undying? Are you hitting on me? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. T, huh? Coming right up. We choose the T because it said it was the blankly right choice to make. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Is she gonna use fire magic on it? <laughs> okay, it's all done. And she ended up breaking her table there. Here we are. <laughs> Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you choose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgord's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you're kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. From then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But <clears throat> he was beaming. I have never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So, the one who gets to train dorks... <clears throat> so, I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus, Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why... I start teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a sec. Second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, 
You'll have it. You'll have to have it for him. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. <clears throat> Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Foo hoo hoo hoo. Afraid? We're going to be best friends. <laughs> oh my god. So she grabbed my head there. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them into dust with your fist. How will you pound them? Mm, strong or wimpy? Wimpy, you pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Nah. <laughs> uh, well, just scrape them into the bowl later. But for now... It was all over her face. We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But just buy but I just buy the store brand. They're the cheapest. Nah. Um, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in the How will you put them in? Carefully. You place the noodles in the and you place the noodles in one at a time. They clink against the empty bottom. Nice. Alright. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb. The more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. So we're, we're doing this here. Uh, let me do it. <laughs> oh my god, she destroyed the pan. Foo hoo hoo hoo. That's the stuff. Alright, so this is how she teaches papyrus to cook. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let's the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into a burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to heat it up. Hotter. <laughs> is this, this isn't going to be edible. Hotter, damn it. Hotter. Wait, that's too... What's going on? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I realize I screwed this up, Dan and I. I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Oh no, we're fighting? I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you my guess anymore. One final rematch all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Nah. Undying is letting you make the first attack. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undying with all your might and miss. I'm assuming. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Hmm. Heh. You know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid shatire, scatarni. I don't know how to say that, shinari slick, shinik. But the way you hit me right now, it it reminded me of someone I, I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fit to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean eventually some mean human will fall down here and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo foo foo. Oh, and if you if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take I'll take the human souls across the barrier and beat the hell out of you. 
That's what friends are for, right? Foo hoo hoo hoo. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with the fires. So if you need me, drop by Stone Inn, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but can you deliver something for me? Papyrus is just that I ask you, but he told me when I still hated you, so... Uh, anyway, here, just take it. You got the undying... You got the undying's letter. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it. Dot dot dot. Uh, oh, yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Alphys. Okay, see you. Our house is crying because it's on fire. Sounds like only fire lives there now. <laughs> All right, folks. Um, I got to wrap this up. It's great. Um, we'll continue this on. I'm way tired. I am well past my bedtime. We will finish up Undertale tomorrow. And thank you for watching. I'll try to upload some videos for you guys tonight. And as always, flip that bacon and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. After we save, of course. <laughs>